Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you Season 2, Episode 7 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bam and M1 Jordan Allen. So, in the last episode, we finally connected the mob farm to a chest right here, so we're able to get resources quickly from here. And we also semi-automated some power and pulverizer and completed our tinker farm automation to be able to process resource. Let me grab some copper. So three copper and one tin because I want to have some bronze so that we can start looking into uh, making the Arden upgrade that we need for this pulverizer so that it has input output. I'll grab all of this and let me just check this is off perfect so throw all of this in here we're just going to wait for it to start making bronze and hopefully we're going to be able to leave here before it's night because i don't want to be out here at night come on come on come on the way it works is that it melts things some ores melts faster than other and when these come in it won't immediately make bronze it progressively transform the alloy into bronze as you see now it's working so now I can start this to get my bronze but I don't want to do it before because it might have started grabbing tin or the other so I said I needed two bronze let's leave that continue and go back we're going to make our upgrades now so today is the shuriken weapon day which is why I grabbed some more coal and for the shuriken we basically need no oh god please can this be transformed back again? Yes. Whew. Don't want to be wasting any coal. So for the shuriken weapon, we're going to need to cook these block of coal. So upgrade. I want to make a... Uh, I have to click the right search. Upgrade. I want to make a Arden upgrade kit, which means I need a bronze uh, gear. And I have the invar because we made that last episode. So the kit's done. And I wanted to make an augment, I don't remember the name, the transmission coil ducking. So let's make some lead nugget, like so, and let's finish crafting that. Perfect, and then we can grab some chest. So one, two, chest, and let's grab the diamond. And what about the coal? Did I get any more coal is the question. Let's get out here. Three more coal. That's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So now that we have the three coal, Let's go back here quickly, be on the listen for birds, upgrade, and for the transmission coil, you have to click here and put the transmission coil in here. What? Why won't it go in the upgrade? It's only for dirt. Okay, I made the wrong coil. So that's kind of sad. I was a bit too fast for that augment. Drill speed, drill speed, drill speed, drill fortune. Okay, those are not the right one. Auxiliary reception coil increase, increase the chance of secondary output. Trees, now standard crop. Is it this one? No. Almond catalyzer, ignition plug. Coolant is no longer okay. Dynamo, 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 compactor, energetic infuser, glacial, glacial, igneous extruder, all of these dynamos, dynamos, dynamos. You know what? I might be wrong about this. Maybe all it really needs to work processing speed, secondary output. Maybe all it needs is at least one augment. So let's just go and try it. Because now I have to admit I'm a little bit confused about what's happening. So one here. Well, not in the front. Of course in the front it's not going to work. So one in the front, one on the side. Going to put all of these diamond in there. We're going to set this side to input. Like so. And no. You can see that it's blue, but it's not grabbing anything. So there's no automated input output. Let's just go back in our base because I'm kind of worried about the amount of birds that are around. But that kind of sucked because these machines are supposed to be able to 
input output automatically and I thought for sure that it was an augment. Side accessibility allows insertion and extraction through the coil. Unless it's not an augment, let me just check at terminal. So if any of you guys know what it is that makes this not work, I would greatly appreciate knowing because to be honest, I always, always thought that this is how it was working. That you needed to make one of these things to be able to just transfer stuff. Isn't it like a, looks like a redstone. And maybe it's just something that doesn't exist anymore, which would kind of suck because I thought it was a very important thing about these machinery. So maybe the only thing I can do about that is basically use servos. I have a servo here and I have an item dock here. So let's craft some more item duck. No. Wow, let me just click in item duct. Going to make one more set of these. And servos now. Let me make one more set of these. So maybe that's all the only option that we have now. Which is kind of sad. Honestly, what was the beauty of these machines that they could push and pull made them very easy to use. So now instead we're going to do this. We're going to put that right here and that right there and the chest right here like so. We're going to set this one to like this. So the top one is blue. I just need to turn this on now and put the coal and then this and is it grabbing the resource? Yes, it's finally grabbing the resource. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So the unfortunate easy solution is just to remove it and put it back. So put this back right here like this. And now we can set this side to export both and set this to always be active. So now this should work. This should be making coal and extracting it and bring it here. And now it's going to take the diamond and process the diamond. So we have a more automated way of processing these resources right now. So we can put all of this in here for the time being and let's grab the coal. Let's make some more block of coal that I'm going to throw in here. And that's a lot of raw carbon. So we're finally on our way to making our weapon. We're going to throw all of that in the Tinker Furnace to be able to cast the knife. Ooh, there's a lot of mob dying back there. So let's grab everything in here. That's good. Let's put it in here. And I, I do need to automate this. It's going to happen soon. It's just right now it's a question of material, honestly. And right now what I want to work on is basically uh, setting myself up for the nether. We have to go to the nether pretty soon because it's something that's kind of stucking us. In all honesty, the only thing that's stucking us is the nether rack because the with all of the gifts that we have here, we can get enough of these blaze rod, but I'd like to get at least a couple of those blaze rod in a kosher manner by going actually to the nether. So two, I need 14 bone meal. I'm gonna craft two more. Um, oh God, come on. I'm gonna craft two more crucible because I need to start working on producing obsidian, way more obsidian. So grab these 14, make two more crucible. I'm gonna put the two crucible in here to cook. And now we can actually make some tank. I wanna make the same Ender IO tank. I like the fact that these have the push pull capacity. So let's make two of these. And the other thing I wanted to do, just gonna grab my pickaxe, rush right here and grab that. Oh wow, I thought I thought I lost a cobblestone generator. Not that it's so expensive, but I don't want to lose it right now. So with this cobblestone generator, I'm going to upgrade it once with iron. And what's the next level? Please don't be blaze rod. Please don't be. Oh, that's expensive. But 
yeah I already have my diamond armor so it's not the end of the world so I don't really mind so much using the diamond the reason I need it is I'm going to need to power a lot more of these crucible now and be able to put resource in it and just a standard generator is not going to be enough so let's put these diamond around like this and make this a level two what's the level three no so the level three is the gem uh the blaze rod so that's not the time for that let's grab some item duck again and the arden ser servo sorry and i want to make just one more set of item duck now it's day so i don't have to worry quite so much anymore and i can grab all of this so grab this and that one and that and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put the item duck right here this right this uh higher tier generator like this set this to extract always active and then i can run these item duck all the way here to be able to set down oh don't want these to touch which means i'm going to need a wrench wrench um you know what i'm not going to take any chance i'm actually going to make the thermal foundation wrench no nope, not that one Oh, there isn't a thermal foundation wrench, so I guess maybe I make the Yetta wrench. I'm going to try. No, what's the Yetta wrench? Sorry, not this one. The Yetta wrench is electrical steel, so I can't make that one. So let's hope that that one wrench works, because if that one wrench doesn't work, I don't know how to fix my issue right now. So I'm going to grab that. Double click to remove this. I hate this kind of uh, auto search when you don't need it. And nope so that wrench doesn't work can't make that one can't make that one can't make that one because i don't have any rose red so i'm kind of stuck for the time being there's a solution for that but it's one that i'm always worried to do but i don't really have a choice right now i really need a wrench because i don't want this to connect let's get some bone meal i'll grab just three bone meal because hopefully this should be enough Let's go down here. We have some grass. Let's bone meal the grass. And yes, we got one rose red. This is all I need. So I kind of got lucky getting it on the first try. So let's transform the rose red into rose red. Now we can make the wrench. I'm pretty sure that one wrench will work pretty sure not 100% sure but pretty sure so let's go try that right now like I said I don't want these to connect oh my god is this is just okay so neither of this wrench work maybe it's the precision sledgehammer but that means raw plastic raw plastic you get by smelting rubber bar which you get from these draw rubber oh okay so hopefully yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so I just screwed up big time with the diamonds. I don't want this here at all. Hmm. Let's remove that. And let's remove that chest. See, it's filling with these cobblestone, which is the other thing I didn't want to happen. Remove this right here. And, oh, this is going to fill with cobblestone. <laughs> okay, this is just not a good idea at all. Any which way I see it. So the last solution that I have is to actually remove this and put it up front. Which is what I didn't want to do in the beginning. Just because it prevents me from walking straight through this place. See, I get... <laughs> and I put it down back in the same place. Just give me one second. It says the 25th of December derp derp episode in front here. The reason I didn't want this up here, it's because now I need to go around like this. Every time I want to use this. And now, technically, what do I want to do with this? Let me go check how much energy conduit. I'm wasting a little bit of time. But I really do not like this setup. It feels really weird and awkward to me. And these are made with bronze. And I should have some more bronze. 
I just made some more bronze. So hopefully I have six. Oh, exactly six. So not much I can complain about there. That's going to be good. Let's just go back here and make some more of these energy conduit like so. And make two bunch of those. And what can I do with the crushed diamond? I can smelt them back into normal diamond. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's put that in there and start cooking it again because that would have been really annoying so now that i have all of this done i'm going to be taking a little bit of time just to set back up things properly and while i'm waiting and uh, while i'm set, doing that setup i'm going to start smelting my raw carbon so let's put all of the raw carbon in here so at least i'm not wasting any time and let's continue the setup did i made the crucible i feel like i'm running back and forth Yes, I did make the crucible. And that's two more raw carbon. So the crucible I want here and here, like so. They should get filled with some cobblestone pretty soon. There's 61 in there, so it should go a bit faster. I don't know why it's not going faster. But now I can remove this. Really? I can remove this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the power cable over and around. Uh, like so. And now I can put these down wherever I want. So let's put this down right here. This is now powered and I can do a better setup this time. So I'm going to put one right here, one right there. I jump on top here I'm just trying to find a way of uh, trying to find a way of doing the setup one on top here one on top there nope that's not what I want I don't want the cross connection and I don't have any way to prevent it for now so let's do this and that's where I'm going to put things that I want to break down set up this like that and extract always on which is going to bring stuff in here yeah, it is configured to come in here and I'm going to make the top extract on orange, put this and turn it on, which means now I'm transforming cobblestone into cobblestone into sand, I think, which gets grabbed and brought into it and a secondary chance of gravel. So at least I have that going well now. But all of this lava that I'm making right here, I'm going to be putting this right there and grabbing the lava from this one and then the lava from this one and also from that one because I want these two to empty in here and empty in here so perfect now I can go and grab everything else I need to automate the process of cobblestone uh, not cobblestone sorry the process of obsidian so let me get some uh, bucket a bucket like so and then I get to grab the water on top here and break all of this not gonna need this here anymore and then grab this stone barrel and then just remove that cobblestone so that it's not a spot that the enemies can stand on I'm going to use these two uppers and I'm going to need a chest again. So a chest. And let's go back there. So here's what's going to happen. Now I'm going to put a chest right here. Like this. And then I'm going to have to be quick with this operation. Oh God. Let's just be careful. I'm going to need to be Oh, I don't need to be quick with this operation because I'm not doing the right thing yet. Oh, derp. Can I pick this up with a pickaxe? It's just annoying. Oh, yeah, it does, that does work. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this and put down the chest immediately. I see immediately, but then I take half an hour. And the chest won't burn. I don't think chests do burn in this mod pack. 
So then I can put my crucible right here and I can set that one to extract from that side. Perfect. And now I need my oak fences all around to put the water in. This is a very cramped setup, but hey, if it works, it works. And this is all good. So now I can put water on top and automated obsidian production. That's really important because first we need the obsidian to make the obsidian uh, portal to go to nether, but we also want to be able to make some ender chest, some ender tank, and these plate, if I can find them. Uh, these, the reinforcement plate, which are eight obsidian and any one gold plate, because we want to make our shuriken almost indestructible. So where's the derp? I did the exact thing I said I didn't want previously. So now I'm going to put one raw carbon back in here. Wait for it to smelt. I should have turned this off. I completely forgot when I put the carbon in, which means we now have unfortunately, unfortunately, a small delay in our operation. So put this in here, finish casting this there. Put the next 10 like so and now is this off yes this is off grab the knife blade cast we're going to replace this with the knife blade cast and hmm i only need eight right too late it's all done so let's cast this this is going to use two ingot and then this one. oh is it two or only one each it's only one each. Oh, this is good. I thought it was two each, which means we're going to have more carbon left over than I was hoping for. And you know what that means? That means I'm going to also make my pickaxe. Let's uh, replace this with ingot. And what's left in there? Three ingot. So let's put that in there because the three ingot is going to become oh no sorry don't 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 three ingot is all that we need sorry i was counting rock oh god so i screwed up i can't put the fence there let's grab the water asap hmm so i'm going to have to fix my issue right here oh Where's the fire coming from? I have no idea where the, the fire is coming from. That's kind of really bad. Let's shift click all of this away and then remove that. And hopefully this should solve my problem. Ugh, I'm going to need some other way of putting the water in there. Let's go grab the rest of the carbon ingot and let's get out of there. This is really not what I wanted to do. But now we have our shuriken. Perfect. Shuriken, knife blade like so, and look at this. Carbon shuriken, which is really a big spike of power because attack 21, which means technically I think we're already doing above the maximum because when you read into the quest book, into that quest click here to show quest the maximum damage that we can do is no in opop right here the maximum damage we can do is 20x so this carbon shuriken is already at the max damage it can do but the problem is that it's going to break which is why i wanted to give the carbon ingot to repair it because we're going to make this unbreakable but to make it unbreakable we're going to need a lot of um we're going to need a lot of, and I'm looking for my words again, we're going to need a lot of obsidian. So the other thing I wanted to do, if the fans are not going to work, is I'm going to get the cobblestone one. These, cobblestone wall, sorry. Cobblestone wall, like so. Let's six like this, yes. And that's why I'm going to put this shin burn. So technically, with that, I should be good. No more fire. Uh, 
and then the water so hopefully this should fix everything and now we're back in producing obsidian can i get any bird close because i'd like to be able to shoot it with my shuriken whoa what attacked me i have no idea what attacked me which is kind of weird oh i really don't like this i was damaged by nothing that i can see oh uh, i want my juice let me grab my juice first and i don't need that ranch it was useless so juice let's grab that one and that four and drink the juice i haven't emptied this in a while oh what are these large winter gift it's december 25th time to open your big present ignore the screeching sound the box make it's nothing somehow i'm not quite sure that i actually believe any of that i do believe that it would be really bad can i kill these and oh let me go back up so i can kill these one shot kill and did it give me any xp yes 10 xp one shot kill one shot kill so that's 33 experience oh so that is very good so yes that is definitely something that i want to be doing because i need i need to level up this weapon oh god oh god shift and walk there was one stingray that was trying to get me away when you're getting moved around by a stingray what you have to do is shift click shift click is what lets you uh, not shift click shift walk is what lets you control where you're going so can i hit oh yes i can hit this but you see how fast it heal can i kill it yes how much experience is that 151 that's perfect and what about this one and now we have 189 i need more xp though how about that bird come on Ugh, this is not working so i made the defense around my base a bit too good because i'm not getting any bird coming close by and i really do want to kill these birds maybe higher a little bit with the way this falls off it's kind of hard to see if i have any chance of hitting this huh. and there's still some drops in there which means it's not emptying fast enough you know what when you want mobs to kill that's when you don't get any mobs to kill i would really love to get some mobs to kill to be able to work on this shuriken maybe i'll be lucky and have a jarno oh yes perfect that's a jarno vh 211 still not enough give me the next one nope <laughs> anything else to kill this is this is really derpy you don't want to have any mobs and when you're finally in a situation where you need the mob you can't get the mobs although i say that might as well try and see if i can get a tree ant from this yes here you go dead pine not tree ant and a carbon shuriken leveled up so the good thing about the carbon shuriken leveling up is that i now have four modifier i only need to level it up one more time it had three before now it has four and with the modifier that's how i'm going to be able to uh, make it indestructible the other thing i wanted to do quickly is grab some wood and make where's the part builder part builders right here and where's the pattern oh come on I'm having problem with my click again uh, the binding pattern perfect so i'm going to put this down for one second right here and i'm going to make a wood binding pattern the reason i'm doing that is that i can now make my pickaxe so once oh no so this is actually the one where you have to make things out of the right material so pattern let's grab the tool rod and i'm making this all out of wood because of ecological so the ecological uh, modifier, if I remember correctly, is that 
it means that things get repaired very 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 slowly mind you like it's not super powerful but we're not going to be using the pickaxe that much in the beginning and now we have a very good pickaxe like this pickaxe is going to be able to break through anything without a problem i also want to make an axe but i don't have enough carbon at the present time to start wasting it on a an axe and stuff like that so next thing that i want to do let's get rid of this and that and you know what i still need an, a normal axe let's grab a normal axe because then i can break this off and put it away so now we have what we wanted we have a shuriken although it still needs to be repaired and we have a um sorry we have a shuriken and we have a big a uh, good pickaxe for the nether so on this front we're kind of ready for the nether where we're still not ready for the nether is the nether portal and i would like to get some enchantment maybe on my armor i'm just not quite sure i'm 13 xp so no that's not going to be enough xp to really make it a possibility so I think it's one of those things where we're going to have to take our chance with the nether. If I remember correctly, the first time I went to the nether, I was able to control the experiment and not get killed quite as often. And I now even have some better idea of how to handle the nether. Where are my saplings? Let's just search for them. Let's plant down another tree because that seems to be a very good way of getting experience. Oh, I do have another good way of getting experience. Let's get some of these winter gift. Uh, this gave me nothing and didn't hurt me at all. So I'm not quite sure what happened. Really? So that gave me a bob, not a single good drop as of. So I kind of get the feeling that these gifts are not good anymore. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Now I can turn this, this off and use my shuriken and get some more XP. This is exactly what I wanted to do. And another one to kill. And I'm not using this for the resource. I'm basically doing this because I want to get the shuriken leveled up. Ooh. Wow. That was a big mob. And yes, another one killed. Some more drops. And another mob to kill. Perfect. You know what? I'm just going to put a couple of things away because, oh wow, I'm getting some good loot. I have to admit, I want to try these large winter gif, but I'm really, really scared of trying them. Because if it brings up a mob that's harder to kill than the things that we've just been getting, I might be done for it. Wow. This is just crazy. I have to look to see in the config if there's any way of turning this on for everyone. Because if you're not playing this mod pack during Christmas time, you don't get a chance of having all of that loot drop. And... It's something that, you know, I wish it was more possible to get. As in, it was like a percentage chance. As in, every time you kill the mob, there was like a 10% chance of you getting a mob, uh, a present drop. So now, my carbon shuriken is level 5, uh, level 2, which means I have 5 modifier. So that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to do this just to be able to get that. And yes, I got some good resource, but at this point, 
my resource processing look at this i have so much stuff being produced it's just a question of automating stuff and taking time and the one thing i don't want to do in this playthrough is waste too much time which is why i'm comfortable with doing what i'm doing i have everything set up so everything that i'm doing right now is just a time saver that's making me pos making it possible for me to move forward with the playthrough without any um loss of time so i have nothing in here oh there was still some carbon in there let's grab those two carbon ingot because i'm going to need those to repair the carbon shuriken until i get my my 64 something obsidian which is that's another thing that's just going to be time i'm producing some good uh, lava right here but not good enough how is this for lava so i could get three more by doing this two and three so that's three more obsidian so that's 16. let me just check the check quickly the next quest for the continuing the journey because that might be the next step the next step is nether bound and you need 10 obsidian and one flint of steel we have the 10 obsidian and we do have the flint and steel uh, we can make the flint and steel so let's make a flint and steel like so and no i actually cannot make a flint and steel but i do have some gravel yeah which means i can make a flint uh yeah and then i can make a flint and steel uh, it's probably going to be the last thing oh right here probably going i thought it was going to be one of the last thing iron like this and perfect so now we have another quest completed one today oh no nether bound oh yes it's a two-parter so now i need 16 glowstone 16 soul sand 16 netherrack 64 nether quartz and blaze two blaze rod the blaze rod i have before because of the gift I even have the um, so, uh, glowstone detect. What I don't have is the quartz and the quartz and the netherrack. So if I look in here, quartz, quartz is something that I will only get from um, some really rare Geo Nash mob drop or from going to the nether and getting the resource. Let's go back here and we're going to remelt some aluminum brass. I want to try the plate with aluminum brass to see if that works. So let's put one block of aluminum brass in here and this is going to take a little bit longer when you put a block instead of uh, the ingots it's prepared uh, proportional to the uh, quantity of material this is now off i'm just waiting for this to finish happening i just want to see if i can make the um, plate out of aluminum brass that's another obsidian that's two more obsidian and finish come on yes perfect so let's make one plate give it to me i'm gonna make both right now because i think it's an it's okay and if not i'll just melt them again so another one and that's six ingot another one so it's one ingot each. That's kind of ridiculous. I always thought that the plate were two ingot. So that's four. That's going to be five. So I basically don't need that one, but I want to empty the brass out of here and I might want to make everything indestructible later on. Like I'm going to make a rapier at some point and I'm probably going to want my rapier to be indestructible. So it's worth doing. Let's put all of this in here. Let's grab these four plate. Let's go back home and see if that actually works. Let's go back there. And let's try and craft this from this and obsidian. Oh, not this. Obsidian around. Yes, it does work. And we're able to make one and two. I'm going to put that on right now because it's not something I'm going to lose. And it's going to make this breaking uh take more time to break actually so now with two on i have uh where is the detail for that huh i thought i could read off of it 
Yes, Reinforce 2, sorry. Don't hold Shift, don't hold Control. So with Reinforce 2, I basically need 3 more to get Reinforce 3, then Reinforce 4, and the last one is Unbreakable, which is absolutely necessary for your Carbon Shuriken because you don't want to have to be repairing this all the time. Carbon is way too expensive to start repairing this all the time. So let me grab all of that. And you know what? The one last thing I'm going to do while we're... Everything else now is a waiting game. I have to build a uh, an island to set up my portal, which is going to be right back here. My portal island I'm going to make right here. So let me go get some road, put that down right here, and I'm going to keep one of these road, nope, cobblestone, oh, so I can't search it with the turn. So I'm going to use the zag, and I'm going to grab one set of this that I'm going to make into road, because like I said, for, for the time being, everything that's used to connect my island, I'm going to do out of these road pattern. Uh, Pillar, tiles, small brick, brick cuts. Uh, where's the road pattern? Road. Perfect. So I'm going to... No, not like that. I need some fences. That's only 14 fence. That's not enough. Let's make all of this into fence. And this I'm going to make one stack. I'm going to make some more fence. 41 fence. That's enough. Perfect. So let's go one, two, three, four, five away. And then I'm going to make this island very small. So one, two, three, like so. Oh no, it needs to be five. Yeah, it does need to be five. Miscounted there. Let's use our new carbon pickaxe. And you know what? Let's put down back the new pickaxe because I didn't do what I said I needed to do. I want to use the zag here. So we're going to make the portal three large. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. So this is going to be the top. Uh, like this, yes. And like this, that's the hole in the middle. And that's the surrounding platform. Now I can use the oak fence to go. really, this is really bad placement of fences. So the fences are going to go around like this. Uh, perfect. And it's really close tonight. I just need to finish this island ASAP so I can light it up to make sure that no mobs spawn. Perfect. Let's remove all of that. Where's my axe? Remove this. It's in the wrong place. Let's grab the torches. So it's going to be one torch in the corner here, one in the corner there, one right here, one right there, and one in the middle of the place right here. Break this down. Break the bottom one down. And this is where our uh, portal is going to be. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then up and around like this. Do I have some gates with me? Yeah. So let's put a gate right here and a gate right there. Plant back that tree. Et voila. So at least my carbon, uh, my tank, and uh, wow. At least my nether island is made. So that's where my nether portal is going to be. So now it's really a question of waiting for the obsidian so that we can finally make the... Um, we need the obsidian to make the uh, unbreakable carbon shuriken because I don't want to go in the nether without a carbon shuriken and especially not a uh, unbreakable carbon shuriken because I don't want to run out of the uh, shuriken blade that it can throw. But I think we're going to be pretty much ready for the next episode. Can I use glowstone to make torch? No. So I'm going to have to make some torches because in the nether there's no way at all that I'm going to the nether without any torch. I don't want to be in the dark ever. That's not enough. I want some more. 
let's grab these diamonds and do I have more jungle wood yes I do so let's cook another stack of jungle wood and now I don't mind so much taking six more of these to make some more torches so let's finish that up and that's pretty much where we're going to start going toward the end of this episode put all of this in here um, I don't need that much oak fence but I do need a lot of fence gate because that's the idea I have for Nendeta. This is something that I've tested in my other playthrough. It's going to be a bit annoying, but it's going to work very well. I'm basically going to be putting some fence gate before every time that I have to harvest material. So let's say I find a vein of ore right here. I'm going to put a fence. Okay, let me show you. I, I want to give you the actual example of what I'm going to be doing. So let's say I'm walking down the nether. And then right here, I see two material that seems to be like kind of a like quartz or something like that. I'm going to put a fence down right before the place where I can harvest it. Then I'm going to shift right click to this and harvest it. And if no mobs spawn, I'm going to close it back with cobblestone and take my fence back. That being said, every five or six or so, like every little way away I'm going to put a fence so that I can always back out really quickly and close the fence I wish I had more clay so that I could actually bring some more of these plate to make it safe but that's my idea that's the only way I can think of of prospecting the nether safe and for the mobs that flies what I'm going to do is there's always like column and pillars in the nether I'm going to find a pillar and I'm going to climb the pillar in every four or five I I'm going to make a window to be able to shoot the mob away and use the the carbon shuriken and I'm going to put them side by side this way I'm going to be turn it off shoot shoot turn it back oh, and then turn it back on to try and attract the um, drops directly to me which is why I also need some ladder let's make some more ladder and oh, I'm out of this it's not a problem because with the jungle wood that we have I don't mind transforming that jungle wood into a ladder into sticks so let's grab this and let's make a stack let's make two stack and then make ladder from those sticks how many can I make you know what that's going to be enough for the beginning so I'm gonna have my ladder I'm going to have my torches I'm going to have some oak fence and some fence gate I'm going to bring some more juice I'm going to probably bring two different type of juice I'm not going to bring the carbon ingot I would like to be able to repair my tool but I don't want to bring that with me it's going to take too much space I'm not going to need this and see I used it three times but it's repaired because of the wood ecological as long as you don't use it too much it should repair as you need it I'm going to bring a crafting table do I not have a crafting table well, okay I'll just make another one I'm gonna bring a crafting table with me and I want to bring some chest that of course so a set of let's say four chests to be able to make two two by two so the first thing I'm going to do when I get into the nether I'm going to make a small platform where I can set up and some birds are coming really I thought some birds were coming okay birds are not coming let's go see how much obsidian I have see only seven wow this is way slower than I thought so I still need a lot of obsidian for the uh, setup of my tool to make it unbreakable let's go right here so that's too high that's three high three high and let's do like this and the torches so that I don't get any spawn on top of this can break this down now perfect so you see my portals coming along well I just need three more obsidian for my portal and then I need how many more I need 8 16 24 24 25 26 27 so I need 27 obsidian 
and I'm all good and ready to go. Which means I'm going to probably stop my power generation and just make sure everything goes into uh, the production of obsidian. So one more like this. Uh, can I do this? Yeah. So one more fluid tank like this. I'm going to make a third one and then what do I need? I need another crucible. So clay. All I'm doing right now is making sure that I can produce this as fast as possible because my goal is to go in the nether in the next episode. So let's grab all of this. We're going to make some clay, uh, porcelain clay like this. Ah, I don't have enough bone meal, of course. Let's do more bone meal and then I can make the porcelain clay like this. That's seven porcelain clay, which means another crucible like so that I'm going to quickly cook. And that should be enough for my setup. So move this around. I'm just waiting for the crucible to be done. And that's pretty much what I'm going to end up on. The reason I'm doing this is I want to show you how much I'm going to be prioritizing the production of lava. So I'm going to remove this. No! Oh, I did grab it. Whew. I thought I'd lost it, which would have been bad. So let's make fluid, fluid. I'm going to just close this right here. I don't know how it got broken. Probably my tool is too efficient. You put this and pull from there and push till here. Same with this one. Pull and push. And that one is pull from the front, push to the side. Finally, that one is pull and push. And the fifth one right here is pull from the front and push to the side. So now all of the lava I'm producing is all going like nothing's going into that anymore which is not ideal in the end I'm going to need more uh, lava for power but in the meantime this should make the production of obsidian that much faster and now I have enough obsidian to finish my portal oh come on good thing is that the carbon pickaxe can pick up obsidian no problem a voila portal ready so we're finally ready to go to the nether. I just wanted to do this to be able to finish the episode on this. So next episode, we're just going to be waiting for 24 obsidian. While we're doing that, we're going to put some resource to processing. Probably what I'm going to do is something I haven't done in a very long time, is have a very short time lapse in the beginning where the time that I'm producing resource and waiting for, oh, sorry, waiting for my 24 obsidian, I'm going to time lapse quickly because it's going to be a, a small waste of time and then we're going to go to the nether immediately and start getting everything we need so to be sure we're going to need 16 soul sand 16 netherrack and 64 quartz netherrack don't worry i'm going to get a ton but 16 is nowhere close to what we need because the reason we get netherrack is to be able to make these machine chassis and let me show you the recipe for machine chassis. Like I've told you, I talked uh, on the forum with the guy and, oh, we fixed it. So you see, there's only one recipe for machine. Oh no, machine framework is still a recipe. This shouldn't exist, so I'm not gonna use it because if you're watching this series six months from now and this recipe is not there anymore, I want you to be able to do the same thing I did. So I'm going to need some double compressed netherrack, which means 81 netherrack each so that's 81 81 81 81 that's like a stack and a half three four and a half five six stack just to make one machine chassis so these machines are going to be expensive but we're finally ready we have our shuriken we have our diamond armor we have a cheap magnet and a stone spear and i think i have everything to be able to make a protective route and i'm going to show you how i'm going to make that protective route to make sure you don't get killed by anything. And I feel fully ready to go for the first leg of our adventure. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.